Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode 474. Boy, they're getting up there. Um, yeah, and the topic today is um, love and comparison. Stop torturing yourself. Yes, we're getting into this one and have some fun. Hopefully give you some ideas and inspiration so you don't keep torturing yourself. Before I get into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day around 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually, I do these talks on, on Facebook first, then onto YouTube, and then onto my podcast. I'll tell you about those later. Called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's number, episode number is 474. And the topic today is, as I mentioned, love and comparison. Um, oh yes, stop torturing yourself. So before I get into this first, let me give you uh, one sidebar, as it were. This is part of an ongoing exploration I'm making into a whole array of topics around love and um, life. <laughs> Which is, which is going to become, which is actually part of what's becoming created very quickly, a um, group coaching program I'll be launching soon. There's also a webinar coming up, which will be next week. I'm not sure if it's on Wednesday or Thursday, maybe moving it. But I wanted to make sure that I let you know about that now, and I'll put the links in the comments below so you can check out afterwards if you want to check it out. Now, to the topic at hand. Love and comparison. I'm putting in love and versus love with or love versus comparison because I want to tie it together. And you may never have done this. However, it's quite likely you know somebody who has. But I'm guessing if you're like me, you probably have done it, because yes, I've done this myself. In the area of relationship and love, it sometimes become challenging to not compare what we have with what somebody else has. Or, in fact, more likely is when you're single, done it myself, to see someone in a relationship and be jealous or envious of them. Comparing my situation to theirs, thinking they're so much better off than I am. That somehow my life is weaker than theirs. My success is less than theirs. My, actually, I'm going way outside the framework of relationship now. Comparison doesn't work anyway, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, where the comparison of what I have and what they have doesn't seem to be fair. And so I have judgment, resentment, feeling unworthy, having undeserving issues, challenges like that have come up for me in the past. And maybe they're for you. Before I give you the answer, let me just transfer this to other things too, because I'm realizing this came up as well. We as human beings have a habit, a pattern, a um, addiction to comparison. In the sense that what happens in our lives when we compare it with somebody else's, which we do, oftentimes brings us up as a less than favorable result. So whether it's career comparison, whether it's financial prosperity comparison, and yes, whether it's relationship comparison, we sometimes, or often in fact, come to a place where we look at the other person and go, taint fair, or something like that. <laughs> we say things that are limited and judging of ourselves because we think they're better off than they, than they are. I've got a couple of bombshells to drop on you in a couple of minutes, so stay with me. So if it come, again, it comes to other situations, scenarios out in the world where maybe your car doesn't look as good as their car, if you're in the, on the freeway or on the parking lot, it's very tempting for most of us as human beings to run this comparison between ourselves and other people. And it's frankly, it's... I'm not going to get there yet. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump to the solution. I want to give you more of the... Um, the experience of what you may have experienced in your own life where this um, behavior pervades in your life. So first of all, do you in your life have these comparisons that run in your life around other people? Now, I'm going to get back to relationship as a central fit, uh, um, concept, but this applies in every area too, where you would run comparisons like, for example, here we go. Since we're on Facebook, doing Facebook Live, how does it feel when you're... Um, um, what are we looking for? When your Facebook page is not getting as many likes as somebody else, or the post you put up 
doesn't get as many comments and love and likes as the other person does or your Facebook lives this is one of mine <laughs> don't get as many live viewers as other people's do yes I have that one running for myself because I've done a lot of Facebook lives and sometimes I see other people who maybe they're cuter because they're female maybe they've got a better audience I don't know but the comparison thing shows up so just to be transparent it comes up for me too I didn't need it sorry need to make a quick note about something because it's on my mind I want to make this for myself because this will come up later maybe in the, even in the seminar so you know it's something that I want to make sure that I have the um, what's the word I'm looking for notes to myself because sometimes after broadcast I forget and since it's not relevant to this broadcast I don't want to say it in the broadcast so let's get back on, to on topic in relationship the comparison becomes a wedge between ourselves and other people. Now I mentioned before about how we compare our relationship against other people's relationship, or if we're single, we compare our status of being single against other people who are in a relationship with envy, jealousy, and feeling less than. There's a third level which I didn't play a bit with, but there's also the comparison within relationship. Well, maybe you judge your partner based upon their income level, or their physical health, or their skin tone, or the diet they eat, or the way they keep their side of the room neat, if that's what your relationship is like. Or maybe you can compare cars where the fact that your car and her car or his car or whatever relationship you have doesn't match up. Comparison is a, as I said, a wedge. It's a divider between loving opportunity between you and somebody else. So there's a couple of things I want to drop on you as part of the bombshells I mentioned earlier. First of all, as you probably know, but you may not feel, no two relationships are alike. And they may look perfect on the outside, and there are many uh, people, especially on living in LA, I see a lot. Many a couple I see that are actually stunning looking people. But both partners are gorgeous looking, both tanned, svelte, carrying themselves well, and everything else. But behind closed doors, there could be abuse going on. There could be impotence going on. There could be cheating going on. There could be the drug addiction and alcoholism going on. There could be swigging going on. You don't know. So the thing I want to make sure you get clear about is comparison. Has a, ca carries a massive amount of assumption in it because you don't know. One add on one piece of add on to that one is if you are comparing cars, have you compared car payments? Because maybe you're not paying as much money out to run your car than they are on theirs. Maybe the car's been in the shop 17 times, you don't know this. So, what I'm saying is, comparison as always is an assumptive plan. One I want to speak to as well if you're single and somebody else in a relationship, the same thing applies. In some cases, I'm clear, and I'm speaking for myself on this one, and you may understand this, is being single has been a preference, a better choice that I made than being in a relationship with certain people who are prospects. So being single is not less than being in a relationship. It's a different choice. And this is the thing I want to make sure you get clear about. Whatever comparison you're running against yourself or against other people, your relationship partners, co-workers, family members, whatever it is, and you're judging yourself according to that, first of all, stop it. Secondly, get clear that the path you're following is your path that nobody else can follow. The path they're following is the path they're following that nobody else can follow, meaning that what they have and what they are about is not to you, and it's not compared to you. It's all unique and different. With seven plus billion people on the planet, no two, including twins, are exactly the same, because every one of us walks a different path. Even twins walking side by side are walking a slightly different path. So to compare is a waste of time. To judge yourself as less than because of comparison is an absolute waste of your energy and your self-support. So stop doing it. Comparison has no benefit. And so I'm saying to you now as a very simple solution is stop doing it. Now, <laughs> that sounds easier than it is for some people. So I want to make sure you get this point across that if you're running a habit pattern, a program of comparison that keeps running without your wanting it to, get help to support you in changing it. In fact, I invite you to reach out to me for support because that's something I work with clients is getting them at their focus on their own self-worth, self-value, so they don't have that challenge. And I also invite you to check out my webinar, which I'll put the link in the comments below, and I mentioned at the end as well, as a place to learn how to change your wiring and your programming so that your beliefs and your self-support are aligned to you and have nothing to do with anybody else. That's freedom, by the way. That's an old topic I'll be covering in the program as well. So, there's one other piece in there, I think. 
just check if there is. No, that might be it. This may be a shorter broadcast than I planned. I was looking to see if there's anything else to share on this, and I don't have anything that comes up as a primary um, primary thing. So I'm not sure if... Whoops. Sorry, just just under my... So my screen, it's throwing me off for a second. All right. So I think that's basically it as a reminder. So comparison, as I said, is a waste of your energy, a waste of your time, a waste of your own self-valuing. So, so quit it. Stop it. Now, I should give you a couple of clues of how to do it. Let me do that. I did speak about how everybody's journey is different, everybody's path is different. And if you were able to have an elevated view looking down upon everybody's path, like you were a drone above everything, watching over everything, you might see the demons that people are running inside themselves. They may look perfect on the outside, but it's hellacious on the inside. Now, let's, let, here's, I'm going to invite you to make an assumption. Yes, an assumption at this point, or a presumption. Let's do presumption. It sounds a bit better than saying assumption. I want you to run this presumption as your practice going forward. It's presumed that everybody else in life is more challenged in their lives than you are. That's going to sound really weird, I know. And it may sound that's not possible, it can't do that. But what if? What if you view everybody else through the lens of that what they're dealing with is more challenging than it is for you? And in fact, your life is blessed. And we're going to play this a lot more in the program if you join me in this group coaching program because the reality is this is a, um, a pivot point that can change everything in your life. If you start looking through the lens of your life is, ma is, is magical, is wonderful, is going well, and that everyone around you is more challenged than you are. Now, I'm not, I don't mean to say that you should judge other people, but what I'm saying it is to, is to put it in perspective that your viewpoint is one where your life is precious. Your life is amazing. Your life is better than you even thought it was, and your life is worth living fully. That's what I'm going to put your framing around. So when you see other people, they don't impact you as being better than you, or you wish what they, that you should have what they have. Don't do that. If you focus on yours, your own um, effervescent, joyful experience of life, I had the word ebullient, ebullient show up, but it doesn't seem to fit the context, but you got what I said. If you start putting energy and focus into that, everything else around you will change. It's almost like, the energy that shows up for me and I say you start doing this, it's almost like having fertilizer and putting it in the ground. It stinks, it's not pretty, and it's really messy. But you put it in the ground and what grows forth from that is abundant, beautiful flowers and fruit and vegetables and all sorts of other things. But you've got to plant it to make it happen. So this homework assignment I'm giving you by having this self-supportive, self-focused, self-centric um, inspirational focus will be a game changer for you. And if you do that, it doesn't matter what other people do, you'll be actually happy and fulfilled and actually grateful for the life you live and feeling that you're fully aligned with it. And that, my friend, is how life will change for the better. So I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me. Um, quick links and information I'm going to give you. I'll mention these in the, I'll put in the comments too, but I'll give you verbal ones. Um, first of all, the webinar I'm putting together next week, I'll put the link in the comments, but the link for it is the, um, it's basically, I'm calling it right now Love, Love Boundaries and Healing is what it's called. I have to remember the three words. Love Boundaries and Healing webinars next Actually, I think it's moved to, it might be moved to Thursday, but if you go sign up, you'll get the email links to tell you when it's going to happen. But it's going to be Wednesday night, Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Yes, right when I do my Facebook Live normally, but I'm moving that that day. Um, so again, that's barryselby.com forward slash LBH webinar. Love, boundaries, healing webinar. Sign up right there. Second thing is I do offer myself love practice for you because if you're dealing with this issue where you're projecting on other people and judging other people and comparing us to other people, it's time to start putting the love back in the tank. So fill up your own love first, self-love, self-support. So you go and get the self-love package from my pro from my website, again, barrysober.com, forward slash this time, self-love, or one word, and check it out. It's got guided meditations in audio format that, yes, I narrated, and it has a guidebook that's, that's basically 30 pages of understanding of how it works and a couple of deeper exercises that you may not expect that will change your life. Thirdly, um, if you're challenged by this and you want some support, reach out, book a chat with me. On my website, again, barryselby.com forward slash chat. I'm giving you all these verbally, but I'll put them in the comments below. You can just schedule a time, get on my calendar, and we can talk. 
And the last but not least, this is one of my daily Facebook Live talks. I put them on my business page as well as on my personal page. So if you want it to replay, you go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. It also ends up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, which is also the name of my podcast. So on iTunes, you can search for Messages from the Masculine, subscribe to my podcast, and download and replay there, and subscribe to my, on my podcast there as well. As I said that twice. In fact, if you're watching my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always welcome a few more subscribers there as well. So you've got your homework. I gave you that earlier. And I invite you to take this to heart, to look into this for your own sake and to really see where you can actually up-level and reframe and take back your own love because you deserve it. And with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I think so. I may have other plans. We'll see. Amy, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So take care of yourself. I'll see you again then. Bye.